we're going to look at the comparison test for infinite series. This is video number one to illustrate the use of comparison test. So the comparison test for infinite series, it is also called term size comparison test. or the direct comparison test. So Suppose that the series summation from 1 to infinity a sub n and n equals 1 to infinity b sub n. So we have two series with positive terms. That means every a sub n and every b sub n is positive. So there are two parts to the comparison test. Uh, the B sub n series will be the known series. A sub n series will be the unknown series. The first part is if the uh, known series B sub n, n equals one to infinity of B sub n. And if this series converges, we know it converges for sure. And the a sub n, the nth term of uh, unknown series, a sub n, is always less than or equal to the nth term of the known series, b sub n. Then the unknown series, at least up to now, a sub n, also converges. So this is the first correct version of the direct comparison test. Here's the second part. If the uh, known series B sub n diverges and each, n, or the, each term, the nth term of the unknown series A sub n is greater than or equal to the known series B sub n. So that means the A sub n series will be bigger than infinity and therefore it also diverges. So these are the two correct ways to use comparison tests. They're incorrect, improper ways to use it, and uh, we'll illustrate that in, uh, in the video. So let's take a look at example number one. Determine if the series So determine if the summation from 1 to infinity 1 divided by 2 to the n plus n converges or diverges. So first we'll illustrate the incorrect way to use the comparison test. In other words, that the, this way will not work. So the series 1 over 2 to the n plus n is our a sub n. That is, we don't know if it converges or not. By looking at, <laughs> at this series, we see that um, we can, if we just take part of the a sub n series, for example, n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over n to be our b sub n, we at least know that this series diverges. So let's see if we can use comparison test by comparing a sub n with b sub n. So we'll start with the denominators of each series. 2 to the n plus n is greater than just n. So by basic algebra, if we put those uh, numerators back in the denominator, 1 over 2 to the n plus n is less than 1 over n, which means that our a sub n terms from a sub n series are less than b sub n for each term. 
And we know that the B sub n series 1 over n diverges because it's a famous series, it's a harmonic series. So we can use the what's called the, the P series test or the integral test. There are a couple of ways, several ways, there are other ways to show that the harmonic series diverges. So all you need to do is say, I recognize the series, it diverges, and then state, give a brief reason why, and that would be sufficient. So here we can say that the series n equals one to infinity one over n can be shown to diverge or could be shown to be divergent by the integral test with f of x equal to 1 over x. So let's see what happens, what we just did, and why we cannot draw a conclusion, why we cannot use the um, integral test properly. Uh, we have the series 1 over n. That's our B sub n series diverges. And we know that our A sub n series 1 over 2 to the n plus n that's the a sub n, is less than 1 over n, which is b sub n. Unfortunately, we cannot draw any conclusions about the series a sub n, which is summation n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 to the n plus n. So based on this inequality, we cannot conclude if our a sub n series converges or diverges. So it's very important that uh, you understand that and see the reason why so this is not a valid way <laughs> to use um, the comparison test. And uh, let's see again why it is not a valid way. So we have the summation from 1 to infinity 1 over n. It diverges, so we can write its sum as infinity. And the summation from 1 to infinity, 1 divided by 2 to the n plus n, is less than this series, the summation n equals 1 to infinity 1 over n, which we just said. So we can write it as infinity. So the series 1 over 2 to the n plus n could itself be infinity and still be considered to be less than infinity, or it could be equal to, add up to 16 or 45. In other words, it could converge or could diverge. So this inequality does not imply that the series um, is finite, that the sum is finite, or if the sum is infinite. In other words, if the series converges or not, so n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over 2 to the n plus n could still converge or it could still diverge with this inequality that we have just established. So this is inconclusive. The test for the <coughs> divergence could not uh, be used here to deter the way we did it here could not be used to determine convergence or divergence of the series. Well, let's use the other part of the series, 1 over uh, 2 to the n, or 1 half to the n, which is the summation n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over 2 to the n. Once again, we look at the, the denominators, write them in a numerator. This is our, we'll take this to be our b sub n series.
we know that this series converges because we recognize that this series is a geometric series. So this is a geometric series with common ratio r equals to 1 half. And as long as r is between minus 1 and 1, a geometric series will converge. So we have established now that our B sub N series converges. And now let's compare the A sub N series. So we're going to look at the denominators 2 to the N plus N is bigger than just 2 to the N by itself. If we then flip them, the fraction 1 over 2 to the N plus N is less than the fraction 1 over 2 to the N. And so the series 1 over 2 to the n plus n greater than 0 and less than the summation from 1 to infinity 1 over 2 to the n, which is n equals 1 to infinity 1 half to the n. That's a geometric series with n equals 1 half, so or with r equals 1 half, so it converges. <coughs> now, our a sub n series is below b sub n series and B sub N series converges. So it's the B sub N series is a finite number, and the A sub N series is below that and greater than zero. So it must be a finite number. And therefore, by the correct use of the comparison test, the first part of the comparison test, we conclude that the summation from 1 to infinity, a sub n, which is the summation from 1 to infinity, 1 over 2 to the n plus n, converges. So one way we could not determine that, this way we are completely confident and know for a fact that the series converges.